God, we gon' make it Show the world that I shine in our greatness Keep it real, never gon' fake this Till we make it, till we make it Taking off, flying high like a spaceship Take control, take a shot, what you waiting for? Keep it real, never gon' fake this Till we make it, till we make it what up, what up, what up? It's your boy Triple D, and we back with another Ugly Betty video. No cap. So check it out. Um, Now, once again, you know, I haven't seen this on YouTube anywhere for a G37. Now, I have seen it in the, on the same platform for G35s and 350Zs and even 370Zs, but I haven't seen a, anybody do a video on it on 370, I mean on 3 on g37 whoo that was hard so i figured i would do it myself and uh put one on here now don't get me wrong i didn't uh buy this just to uh make a video first um i'm actually buying it because my hood on my car does not sit flush and i'm hoping that i can delete the hood latches that are attached to the hood and use these um push button hood latches in order to fix my problem so let's let me show you a little bit of what i'm talking about this is why we call her ugly betty because that lip is literally all the way up the hood now the car is wrecked on this side but when i brought the car it didn't look this bad um it didn't look bad at all it actually everything fit perfect and then you have a little bit of a gap over here all the way up. i'm not thinking that i'm gonna get this perfect uh i just want it to sit flush so that the hood is like not flapping in the wind per se you know so um and from a distance maybe it'll look better um, up close you'll still be able to see the imperfections but that i just want it to look better um and uh and to prevent my hood from flying up and cracking my windshield and all of that good stuff so i'm gonna show you what i bought i will put the link in the description so that if anybody else wants to buy them you guys can get a hold of them um because they there are fake ones out there um i was aware of it so i knew not to buy those all right guys so this is my point, so I'm going to, like I said, my stuff is twisted over here, you know what I mean? So I would like to have used this hole right here on both sides, but uh, that's not the case. Um, I don't have very much metal to work with, so I'm going to use this one right here and this one right here, um, which it's still, if you look under, if you remove this plate, this... Uh, frame piece here it, it kind of makes a 90 degree angle turn right here and stops here so we're going to use this hole right here on both sides and uh yeah so let's break those loose with a uh what is this a 12 i'm gonna try not to take off the front bumper um it's not that big of a deal to do it but you know, it's just one of the things if you don't have to, you don't want to, kind of, sort of. So, yeah, same thing on this side. I may have to loosen this up just to be able to move it a little bit because I don't want to really hit this um, bracket right here. Um, so, yeah, that may not be the case for this side. I may have to. I don't know. We'll see. Let's start tearing shit up. <laughs> All right. So, here's the bracket right here. So, I don't want to drop any of these bolts. Oh my Lord Jesus. I'm just going to pull one of these out so that I can test fit like as I drill um, to make this fit. So, that's pretty much what I need right there, straight down. As you can see, my intake tube is here and it goes down underneath here. I don't know if you can see my finger through there, but if you drill too far, you'll you'll actually drill and hit that. And same thing, if this goes in here and the hood does not close completely all the way, then I'm gonna have to cut this bolt short. Um, I've seen 
a few people have to do this. So um, no big deal. Um, it is a universal kit. So that's the universal part. You have to make this stuff fit. So, yeah, let's start with this side because it's the broken side already. All right, guys, so I've got the holes drilled all the way out, as you can see. Um, I got both of these on both sides completely drilled through. It took me a minute because my drill bit was uh, dull. And I didn't want to have to go purchase another one, so I just kept at it, so slowly but surely letting the uh, the drill um, cool down. <coughs> so, uh, yeah. Also, I took off the black cover that was right here and unbolted this bracket that was here. So I didn't have to try and drill through this bracket. You know, that was too much. All right, guys. So it is the next day. Um, yeah, man. I'm... This is like all fabricated. Uh, I'm sure it's a lot easier for people that does that don't have damaged cars, but uh, this this damaged shit here is becoming a. <laughs> My plan is to have three locks. So this one here won't be here. This lock will just be empty. So that'll just fall into the hole. Period. It'll lock right here with the push button latch. Right here will be another push button latch, and then essentially the uh, the uh, lock system that's here will be put back. It's actually down here hanging, so it'll be put back. So that way, I'm not just relying on the push pin locks, um, and I will still have this too. It's not necessarily a lock, but it's your latch. I'll still have that. So in order to pop the hood, I would still have to pull the latch to make this one release then I would come to the front of the car and I would push these buttons boom boom and then I would lift lift up with this so it's kind of somewhat of a security system as far as for the hood goes and I'm hoping that it works now we're gonna put the paint on top of the ballpoint right here on both sides we're gonna let the hood down to see where the paint lands and that'll be our drill point man so you're just gonna take the top of this right here and you're gonna dab it on the very, very top of this bolt. Yep, just like that. Boom. Boom. So close the hood down. Go on that side. And you're gonna push down it and just hold it. Push down a little harder over here. Alright. And then we're gonna let it up. And voila, that's our drill marks right there. We got the top of this hole almost cut out. There's actually three layers to this hood. So we got this one almost cut out right here. We're gonna do the top now. And uh, you can see right there, there's our cutting point. We're gonna put some tape down first, some masking tape, and then we're gonna screw right through. All right, so as you can see, our holes right there, here's our masking tape. Um, Here's my drill right here with a one and a half inch. Make sure it's going righty tighty. And we're gonna just gonna go straight through the through the hood, man. Uh, yeah, I hope I don't tear nothing up at the bottom. So let's see what happens. So yeah, just kind of hold the hood steady. It bent. Oh my God, it just tore my hood up. How? Look at the scratches, bro. Hopefully it covers that, but I doubt it. And chewed the hood up like bad, bro. Like Now she really looked like ugly Betty. For the ones that are thinking about doing this, be ready to it up, you know? There As it is. you can see, I scratched it fuck up. Like, woo wee! Like bad. So, we're gonna peel back all this stuff and make sure it fits. But yeah, this is what happens when you use a cheap hole saw. 
the hole saw I used at first it bent and ran oh my god so yeah let's see if the thing fits in that hole damn so you're gonna take the bottom piece off of here the little bracket and we're just gonna try to uh see if that fits if it'll just fall through yep yep falls through no problem so like i said you can still see the scratches around the edges that's gonna be ugly but we're gonna try our best to not do that on this side and like I said, it's, it's, this is a functional thing for us. I'm not doing this just to look good. I'm doing it because I have a big gap in the hood and it kind of flaps in the wind when I get over like 85, 90. So yeah, this is kind of what it's gonna look like from a distance, it doesn't look so bad. But up close and personal, woo wee. Man, I might have to go get some touch up paint. That looks that bad. You still, I still got to get that second layer off. See, most hoods is two layers. This hood is like three layers. It's this layer, the second layer, then the top layer. Not a right. Don't cut the over here. All right, guys. So, as you can see, I'm having a little bit of difficulties with this. I actually ruined my hood on my car, but it is a uh, little project car for me. It's just for fun. So I would like it to look better, but I messed the hood up for sure. Um, I scratched it up pretty bad. My hood, just, you know, infinity has to be different. Um, we have three layers. You have this bottom layer right here. Then you have the inside layer right there. I don't know if you can see that. And then you have the top layer to the hood. So over here, I decided I was gonna cut like a big square and it kind of ended up looking like a square circle. And same thing, I had to cut and bend a piece of that back and I still have the top of the hood to go through. So yeah, um, that's what's next. We're gonna measure this bolt out right here and we're going to Put a spot down where it's gonna land and try and cut through man let's see what happens all right let's pop it back up yeah you gotta make pull sure up some pull up you gotta make sure. So this is the hole we got and it fits perfect. This actually is too big. So that's why they tell you to get um, an inch and a half. But I think I got an inch and three quarters or something like that. So it's just a little bit bigger. All right. So next we're gonna be putting this right here through the top. Just drop it in like so. We're gonna take some of our thread lock. And we're gonna put some of this thread lock on these threads. Watch your fingers, please. It's sharp in there. That's why they give you this Allen key too. Cause they know it's hard to get your hand in there. And you can just kind of turn it like that. All right, and then we're gonna put these little Allen key bolts in there. You wanna put a little bit of this thread lock on these bolts too. All right, guys, so this is what I'm left with. It isn't the prettiest for me, but it is what it is. So I'm pretty much left with uh, the, the hood cut out that I showed you. And uh, these, are these are locked in place. This locked in place, so it won't move. We're gonna go ahead and uh, put everything back in this little plate thing right here and uh my lock right here now i don't know if this lock is gonna work or not uh if if not i'll get it working i'll, I'll have to fix the height again but 
if it does work then perfectly then great that'll work that's just extra security right, guys so this is what happened this is how it went down i could not get everything on camera like i wanted to i'm sorry for that uh this did not go as planned um and i will not, i will say this this is not a hard install but just with the damage with my car and um you know a little bit of uh uh me being a novice and you know stuff just didn't line up and go right but anyways it still worked out great it still seems to work for me um i still have three locks to the hood like i said i would have so let me show you how it would work if i wanted to pop my hood I come to my car unlock it pull the latch Come up here to the front, push the push pins, and pull up. And uh, <laughs> there's a wrench under my car. <laughs> I probably drove, <laughs> I probably drove, I don't know, uh, 20 miles with this thing underneath here. Uh, <laughs> that's funny. But anyways, yeah, it seems to work just fine. Um, uh, it's like I said, it's not perfect, bro, but nothing's perfect on this car, as you can see. Um, I'm trying to give you a view of this, but I don't know if you can see this, but it did not come out great. It almost looks like a little house. <laughs> and uh, But everything did hold up. That side came out a lot better, um, but... Uh, I was just trying to make it a little easier over here and then it just turned into a disaster. So kind of stick to uh, the circle plans, just get the right sizes. But um, but yeah, man, everything else is great, man. The, it, the, hood, the hood does look better when I put it down. Let me show you. I just put it down, I do everything in reverse, drop it, push the push pin in, come on this side. I push the push pin in <clears throat> and see look <clears throat> if it doesn't go flush then you have to kind of like push on the pin on the top but that's because of like i said me being a novice and my measurements didn't didn't line up as well um you can see the scratches that happen like i said i'm gonna get some paint match and try to paint over that just to cover it but i'm not a professional you know and i'm doing all this stuff you know with my ability and uh, a little help from my my wife and my mom and you know friends and stuff like that so it came out good to me i feel like the uh gap has closed on this side a whole lot better you really can't see the imperfection of it until you get close so from a distance you can't see the big big gap like you can in photos and stuff so i'm i'm pleased with it um it's not like i said it's not the best but i am pleased with it all right guys so we've reached the end of the video as you can see we're losing light out here man but uh the project is complete it probably took me like two days to do it um but it came out looking good from a distance up close it's another story please like and subscribe my videos i hope y'all like my content Is there anything you want to see anything you want to say in the comments please let me know i'm i'm, I'm open to good and bad comments <laughs> but you know, overall, man, it's all about Ugly Betty, man. It's all about the G's and the Z's. So I hope y'all like this. I hope it helps you where I messed up. I hope you can succeed. It's your boy, Triple D, and we are out.